Oh my God, this big ass foot rest. I'm gonna leave it in the video. Y'all check it out, man. I got my man Brian here. He actually went to school with DC. I met him at a barber battle that I judged and he won the whole thing. So we're gonna cut him today. He gave me a couple ideas, a little bit of a burst fade, kind of similar style to he has. Leave the back, but we're gonna kind of get into it and just kind of see what it does. All right, guys, I'm gonna start off saturating the hair all the way wet. We'll go ahead and section it off, do a little scissor work to start, prepare our sides, and then we can come in and do the burst fade. All right guys, so I'm gonna use my comb. I can see that it's coming off of his parietal ridge about right here, a little bit heavier than where we're gonna leave it. So I'm gonna just start here. I'm gonna pull it straight out. My fingers are against the head. We're gonna take off about a half inch. We're just setting our transition area here where I'm gonna come in underneath and connect the clippers to it. We'll go ahead and work this shape around, kind of creating that burst. And then we can connect the top to that and connect the clipper work underneath after we get done with that. So we're just gonna cut the burst fade shape in. See, I'm gonna work down towards the back, straight down, and then we will connect everything else together and do the same thing on the other side. So you can see I got it split down the middle. Now we're just gonna take the hair from the top. You can see it's overhanging quite a bit. Here's our guide underneath. We're just gonna connect it to the guide underneath. So we're gonna pull it straight out. And how high you elevate this is gonna determine how heavy it is. So I'm pulling it straight out. Not too elevated, but I'm not bringing it down here. I don't want it too heavy. Just bringing it straight out, connecting to the line that we already cut. You see, I pull it out. I take my scissors, pull the hair up. I can find the guy underneath. And then as we get to the front, I'm gonna pivot out. Still leave him a little bit of that extra length in the front. You see, I grab this section. Here's my guide back here that I've already cut. I'll pivot out, connect in all the way up through the front and the bangs. You can see there's actually a shortest part right there that's falling out. So that's gonna be my guide. Now I will cut that back towards the other side. The other side, the other guide that we started with. We'll go ahead and do that on the other side and then we can take it all straight up and connect the top together. All right guys, so same thing here. We'll pull it straight out. You see my guide underneath, cut it up. Once we get to the ear, we will pivot out, make it a little bit longer. And again, I can come up here and go ahead and see like there's where it's starting to fall out. Angle my fingers back towards the guide that we were starting with and now you can see Short, short. Connect the two together, and we'll move on to the top. And you guys see when we comb this in, it should lay super nice. And then we have our length in the front to give him kind of that flippy, flipped up, flippy style that he started with. All right guys, so now we're gonna take sections. I'm gonna start in the back, I'm gonna pull it up, and basically where we cut the guy on the sides, as we pull this up, you guys can see this hair falling out. That's where we just cut that. And we will have the same thing on the other side. You can see it short here. We're just gonna take that section, pull it straight up. And where it starts to fall out, I'm just gonna point cut and cut it down just slightly. And we're just gonna add some texture while doing that. So point cut all the way across. We're keeping it square. I'm not gonna round and come here and take that corner off. We want that weight on this edge right here. So there's one section, take the next one straight up. As soon as it falls out, I stop. Work my way over, then I'll take this next part. As soon as it falls out over here, I'll stop. Point cut my way across, adding some texture. And he's a little grown out, so we're definitely gonna we'll make the sides, you know, fit with the length on top. So a little trim ain't gonna hurt nothing, a little texture for the style. Work our way from the back to the front. And then we'll do a little loose blow dry on this before we come in and fade the sides. So we got the sides prepped. Well, not the sides, but the transition here. So I'm gonna come in with a number four, straight up off the parietal ridge. And the goal is to connect to that finger length that we set our perimeter when we did our scissor work. So you can see I'm able to come straight in, straight up off the head, connect right into the scissor work. It should still look nice and neat laying forward. Of course, we're gonna do a little more of a style when we get done. So some of this is gonna be styled up. You can see it's still kind of wet, but my goal here is to cut the side down to a four. 
get it set up where we can start our guideline and start this burst fade on the sides. So on the back, we do the same thing, guys. I'm gonna comb it towards the front. I'm gonna come in with my guard and let it feed straight out into the back. All right, guys, so we can see the shape where the length is here. So I'm gonna mimic that with my bald line. So we're gonna start behind the ear, come up. We're gonna go to like the middle of the C cup so we can get a little bit of a C cup line. And I'm just mimicking that same shape that we started with. So he had said last time he got it cut, it was a little too moldy. It was really just a taper. So we're gonna get a little bit into this hair behind the ear, make it a little bit more of a burst phase. So we set the line in with the slim lines. I'm gonna go ahead and bald it out. Then we'll come in with the shaver and get it all the way down to skin and start our first step going up. Okay, so now we're coming in with the babyless. I'm gonna set my open section about a half inch, come up following the same exact shape. So the whole idea here is that the fade will be in the same shape that we set our length and our bald section. Everything will kind of work together as one, you know, nice finished package. So I'm coming up back here a little bit. Now guys, behind the ear, we gotta work up. So up here, the hair is growing down. We can't fade this way. We have to come using the corner of the blade and we're just gonna cut a small section, get this whole open section cleaned up and then we can come in and start to fade the line out from the bottom. So now you guys know I like to switch to my boosted. I just got these things brand new. One of the first cuts I'm using them on. I did have a set before, of course, but these are brand new. You guys can hear how quiet they are. And we were just discussing these guys. He was talking about the Rebel versus the boosted. Pretty much the same thing, different lid. And uh, for some reason, these seem to stay a little bit quieter. I don't really know why, but they are the same thing. I know a lot of people heard me say the Rebel was so good and went and bought them. And then you guys were like, dude, what the hell? You don't even use the Rebel anymore. So it's still in the drawer. This is basically the same thing. If you ask me which one you should get I'll tell you either it's basically just a preference on how it looks so I use the boosted because I kind of like how it looks better and it was brand new this one's even more brand new but the original one I got was six months newer than the rebel so I just switched for that reason you guys see we went through from closed now I'm at the open at the very top of this section and we still have a lot of hair on here so once we get some hair out of the way we'll clean it up on the way down you guys see our open section is looking pretty good now we can move on to our one all right so next up open one guard we'll go up another half inch again following those same exact shapes very important here guys I always teach in the Academy when I talk about it that when you're scrolling Instagram and you see a haircut that looks good start paying attention to why you think it looks good most of the time the style on top follows the shape of the fade perfectly and that's really what's gonna give you that nice finished product so here we want the style to be in this shape and the fade to be in the same shape so now because there's so much hair here before I work this line out I'm gonna go ahead and work my way up and connect all this together and then we'll work our way back down all right guys so we started with a four I'm gonna come in with a three it is all the way closed. I'm gonna get those bangs kind of out of the way so we don't cut them off. This is a three all the way closed. I'm basically trying to just blend in to the four without leaving a guideline. And then we'll continue to work our way down with the next guards until we get that line all the way out. He has got some thick, not necessarily coarse as in like difficult to cut, but definitely no shortage of hair here. We'll just little by little blend our way back down to that one that we just used. That's about it with the three. And we just wanna work our way down until we get back to that one line and then we can finish taking that all the way out. There's a three, now the two closed. Come in right underneath that. And this is stacking guards, guys. If you didn't see my video on that, definitely check it out. We're basically just squeezing all these guards into a small area to go basically from the one up to the length. So two closed and everything from the two up, I pretty much use all the way closed because once we get the dark hair, it's, it's dark hair. We don't have to worry so much about, you know, seeing. We don't need to do open and close and all those different steps, but you guys can see we're pretty much transitioned up into the four. And now all we have left is those last couple lines between the one and the two. So now one and a half, half open and anything that's left right here between the one and the two half open is the sweet spot you guys see it's going to connect anything that's left and all we got left is that line underneath the open one you guys should start to see the shape that we talked about coming together so we really have a nice circle shape here once this is styled it's going to be a little fuller and we'll have a nice finished look here so now I'll come in with the one closed start to take this line out guys it's not going to take it all the way out we are going to need the half guard but this will start to get it together you guys can see it already looks pretty good 
and then we'll come in with the half guard and get out anything that is left and be pretty much done with this side. He has so much hair, I'm probably gonna move through this pretty quick, move on, do the other side, go ahead and line it all up and style it, and then we can come in and detail the sides if we need to once we're all finished. Now we're in with the half, half open, and this is only for this last line, guys. You can barely see it. We don't need a whole lot, so we're just gonna lightly go through this area and make sure that everything is good, and we'll be done. All right, while we're over here, we're gonna blend this beard out real quick, and we will line up the C cup and move on to the other side. It's a one and a half. I just kind of looked at his beard, and I could tell about what this length is, so I'm gonna start there, and we're just gonna fade our way up. So now I know it's a one and a half. I can go to an open one. We're gonna do the same steps as the fade, just reversed. So open one, close it up a little bit, close it up a little bit more, work our way up to the top. Last but not least, last guard at least, we'll do a half guard, half open. Again, same exact steps we just did. Open clipper, half open clipper, close at the top. And then just for this last stubble right here, we'll come in with our trimmer and get it all the way nice and short. All right, so we're gonna line up the C cup real quick. You guys see he has a pretty strong one. It is some longer hair, so we come up here to the front and start to cut through it. These are my new FX3 trimmers. Some of my favorites right now, and I did just drop an unboxing a week or two ago. If you guys wanna check that out. So we get the front line kind of started, then we can come back here and round into that. You guys see once we get a nice line, then we can come in, some of that length is out of the way, come in and kind of clean that up. And again, guys, when we really detail this, we can clean it up even better if we need to. I'm gonna brush the back side of the beard down. We'll go ahead and line that up, work it straight down on the sides. Again, guys, when you're lining, you wanna take off as little as possible, but get a sharp line. So no different on the beard, work it straight down. When we get all done, we will clean up the bottom edge of the beard. All right, so back here, we're just gonna round it. I'm gonna do half right now. Basically come in where the fade kind of stops, start to work it down. You're basically gonna work it straight down. Then we'll come here at the bottom of the back, bottom of the nape, work it towards the edge. And then more or less, you know, he's got some tattoos, so it's a little bit difficult to see, but we'll just start to round it up into the side until you kind of get it the shape that you want. I'll just kind of start little by little. Once you start to get the shape that you want, just keep working it in, detailing it, making it nice and sharp. Now you guys can see we got pretty much everything done on this side. We'll do the same thing on the other side, and then we can come back and detail and do a finished style.
guys, that is it for the cut. My man Brian, I'm gonna put his Instagram on the side of the screen so you guys go give him a follow and tell him who sent you. I see a little birthday with some texture on top. I think it turned out dope. First time I ever cut it. He definitely has no shortage of hair. All right guys, if you wanna see my favorite cut, just like this that I ever did, make sure you guys click right over there and check that video out.